I just finished watching Tesla's AI Day presentation. Now I can't wait to replace this dummy with an Optimus robot. This past Friday, Tesla had its second AI day where they unveiled a working prototype of their Optimus humanoid robot. Ever since they first announced the Optimus robot, I've been super excited about this. Before I was a fan of Tesla, I grew up as a fan of science fiction. All the greatest shows that I watched as a kid, they all had something in common. They had a personalized humanoid type of robot that the characters could interact with and I always thought that was super cool. Maybe you recognize some of these guys. Danger! No, Will Robinson! Danger! Someone isn't gonna like that. And I am C-3PO, human cyborg relations. So at the presentation, Elon brought out its first working prototype that they put together with kind of off-the-shelf parts, more generic parts that Tesla didn't really invent. They just found parts off the shelf, put it together, and got a working prototype. Up until that point, they'd always had it tethered to a cable that would help control it and help monitor different sensors and things on the robot. This was the first time they ever had it untethered, walking and working on its own. And because they didn't have a lot of time to kind of mess around with it being untethered, they did want to show that it could do other things than just kind of walk and dance and things like that. So they did play a short video of the uh, robot walking around the Fremont factory, doing a few little things here and there, lifting boxes, moving some equipment on the assembly line, uh, things like that. So. It is going to be functional. I think they even admitted that they've got a lot of work ahead of them. Uh, try to speed up some of these routines because, you know, they want it to be better than a human. And a human's going to be moving things around on an assembly line a lot faster than this robot will right now. So that's something that they're going to work on. So after that short video, they unveiled another prototype of the Optimus robot. This time, this was built from the ground up with completely designed Tesla parts. Uh, all their, you know, actuators and cables and everything that is putting this robot together and holding it together was designed by Tesla engineers. So it does have a sleeker look to it. Uh, it looks more advanced. This prototype is newer than the other one. So the other one, they've had more time working on it to where it can walk and move around and do more things. This Tesla designed Optimus is not ready yet. It can't even walk on its own. He says it's a couple weeks away before it can do that. But they did bring it out to show you what it looks like. Uh, it was able to wave to the audience. Um, it, I'm sure it can do a few other things, but they really didn't showcase what it can do yet. I think it was more of an idea of what it's going to look like uh, when it's released to the public. I was really excited when Elon was talking about releasing this robot to the public, that it's going to be more affordable than buying a car. He was thinking somewhere under $20,000, which is quite a bit of money, but for what you're getting, uh, your own personalized humanoid robot, I think that's pretty phenomenal. The Optimus is designed to be an extremely capable robot, but made in, in very high volume, probably ultimately millions of units. Um, and I, it, it is expected to cost much less than a car. I'll just bring so, it directly to the right here. Uh, I would say probably less than $20,000 would be my guess. Elon also made several comments about how he wants this robot to be safe and harmless to the public, basically. Uh, there's going to be features where you can disable it if it's going out of control. Uh, he doesn't want there to be any kind of Terminator kind of situation going on in the future with this. And for those of you that may have some concern that Elon someday will go crazy and be some dictator of rogue robots walking around, he made a good point that uh, I think is very valid, that Tesla is a publicly traded corporation. Um, we as stockholders can vote him out if we think things are going crazy. 
Uh, we can change the way the company is run because we are the shareholders. Obviously, we want to make sure that transformation is a positive one and um, safe. <laughs> and, but, but that's also why I think Tesla as an entity doing this, being a single class of stock publicly traded, owned by the public, um, is very important um, and, and should not be overlooked. I think this is essential because then if the public doesn't like what Tesla's doing, the public can buy shares in Tesla and vote differently. This is a big deal. Um, like, it's very important that, that I can't just do what I want. <laughs> you know, sometimes people think that, not, but it's not true. Um, so, um, you know, that, it's, it's very important that the, the corporate entity that, has, that, that makes this happen is something that the public can properly influence. Um, and so, so I think the Tesla structure is, is, is ideal for that. Elon also had a group of his engineers on stage talking about different aspects of the Optimus robot. They all had their own little specialized area that they worked on with the robot. And uh, I thought this was fascinating too. It was really interesting to see uh, what all goes into building a robot of this magnitude. They also made a point to note that this is just going to be version one. So as the years go on, we're really super excited about what's going to go on in five years from now, 10 years from now, when you're on version four or five of the Optimus robot. It's going to be amazing. I can already tell just if this is version one, I can't wait to see what's going to happen in version five, let's say. So when this is released to the public, are you going to buy an Optimus robot for yourself? Here's what I think. If you are a business owner where you have a, you know, certain positions in your company that are dangerous or somewhat boring or tedious that you know, humans don't want to do, maybe something like this would be good for you to have for your business. I know that workers on the interstate that hold up the sign telling you to slow down while they're doing construction, I know that that is kind of a dangerous job uh, you're out there just, it's boring. You're just standing there holding a sign, but you're out there in the elements. You're breathing in all that exhaust fumes from the cars going by. There's people that are recklessly driving that could swerve into you. It's kind of a dangerous job and not really good for your health. And I've heard that they actually pay a lot of money for those people to do that. So putting a robot in would be less money and you know, it would be not as dangerous for a robot to do that than for a human. So that would be a perfect example. Do I see this for a home user? I don't really see version one being useful to home users. If you're a wealthy person and you just, you know, want to throw $20,000 out and grab a robot to have just for, you know, making YouTube videos, then that's awesome. Do it. But as far as the value for what you're going to do with it, I don't see that yet. I would love to have one. If I had the money, I'd probably get one, but I don't have the money. Uh, I probably would save up and wait for another future version of this, a better version, one that I could see has more functionality, uh, a little bit more useful to the home user. Um, I think it'd be more worth its money at that point. So I'm probably gonna wait but I still think it's a super cool idea. If you can afford it, definitely do. I think it's awesome. That being said, guys, what do you think? Put your comments down below. I'm really curious if I'm the only crazy one that grew up watching sci-fi that you know thinks this is awesome, or do you guys think this is awesome too? Let me know. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you wanna see more videos, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys real soon. Take care, bye-bye.